Sorry about the background noise. I'm currently staying in that exact old folks home. Anyways. Journal 231. Ehebophile? Let's go crazy. Let's talk about my magic underground. Apple emoji, clock emoji, clock emoji, spades emoji, um, banana emoji, snowflake emoji, American flag emoji. Not system, other system. Photo. I've been going through supernatural after supernatural every other night, and somehow I turned into a dragon. Miss Lynn hazed me, and I came clean to Gianna about it, who has cut me off entirely. Before I deleted and ditched her number, or planned to, I quit acting, I quit music, and I have been so heavily and supernaturally cursed, I can't sing, let alone without a wobble. I have the supernatural tendency to become like all gods and eras, and I'm in my unlucky phase, as, as luck of the Irish myth is my real life, as well as my good friends, sons, and lovers that I have gotten to know. I become like those I have known in different eras, my incubus era, my light era, my body era, and it always ends up supernaturally important to the gods form and forms new life. I kind of have this religious role you don't know about, where I live other p others' pain and suffering and even advantages, and become like them, and then the gods take it and make something new, usually another god's life. The gods take it and make something new, usually another gods, or it's epithet or a myth, and true, I am an occultist, what some may mislabel a witch, and I use these powers benevolently to help people and have excitement in my life, but it does occur, and it is weird, and it is me becoming other people due to my species. Let's get to that nonsense. Wheels was a kid I knew back in the day in a chair. I met him in the hospital during training astral for the Special Olympics. I know I sound high on acid or something, and it's hard to believe all this, but it's true. I'm a time traveler as well. Look, my secret hidden double life is a long ass story. There's a reason it's a Kron's locket and not Adam Snowflake. But basically, he helped me steer my chair. I have had I had telepathy for a while now. I taught myself it while in a mental ward. Some I know it kind of just getting a vibe for your mind and everyone else is feeling the vibe of their mind or the room and releasing, aiming, or as I call projecting it, your thoughts into that body. I'm kind of in a wheelchair, X, and I have telepathy, and people keep comparing me to Professor X, especially because I keep nearly shaving my head, and I'm just not here for it. This is my wheels era, and this is my kakupa season. My light era was a long part of my life, who I initially was at the start of all this. The kakupa era was my fall towards disability. It bled into my bow era of seizures and epilepsy and bad, bad jokes. Bo was my golden retriever and I was his owner, S. I had a dream realm bullshit. I guided him. He was going lame and couldn't walk. And I advocated for him. Reminder, I wrote dreamers. I went lame and couldn't walk. During my bow era, I had seizures. I learned to talk through them and felt extremely... It fell extremely, and it bled into my Kakupa era. At least I told bad jokes during it. I remember that. Bo is my dog, but he was a member of my family, so it counts. It turns out I'm not human. I'm a species known as kins, which goes through eras of being fantasy creatures and walks and styles of other types of life. It was the inspiration for my book Hannah Tam's Dreamers and John Pond. Because reminder, I'm secretly waiter Abigail and Titan Page, and I do plan to stage fights about this with myself later. I don't remember why, though. So I've been eloped into the fairy world, and I'm now sort of in an old folks' home to recover from my injury despite being seen in the world of 25. My species ages irregularly, and it turns out I'm 16 forever. So any of my relationships I have while ageless are weird. I change hair color and wait to hide age or expose it. Gray makes me look old, and right now I look 13. I'm being fed off of by vampires over the night. Want to know a secret? A really fun, cool, special, awesome, super soft secret? Every single show in the industry in real life is based at all, on at all fiction. That Jewish family sitcom, it only is unique because the Goldbergs were fucking open about it. And in general, there's always supernatural backing. Everything, even intended fiction, is an industry secret. I learned it via society. Secret society, rape, and hazing, and being ushered in by Len Stallings and the fucking Illuminati bullshit. 
I have the tattoo. They should know they can't keep me quiet by now. Photo of my hand and my scar. So she hazed me into my career without my consent, which made me genuinely give up on it. I loved her and Jameson Moss with the alien shit since he's been a Scientologist. Yeah, I forgive it. But everything else, I couldn't take her commissioning a rape of me and the rapist on staff as family she kept after the fact, however accidental on her part. Lynn may not have known a yay yay did, and she did it and was kept on as a member of staff after the fact, which Lynn knew she knew. Yes, I'm excited as Alien Jersey. I unmistakably paz zazarifically am. No vessel literally me that I am non-human. It's cool to learn about the history to live it of the gods. I'm happy every industry, even games, are secretly magic. It's cool. Like that. But I wish I didn't have to be tortured to learn this. My species is kins with an S. Omniracial and special. It turns out my mother Michelle and my father Matthew are English royalty or Dutch or something. And my mom is a dead queen and my father is a prince. Cool. I learned so much during my hospital stay about what I am, my history, and that sounds like that shit insanity, but you know, I know who I am. I also know that I'm a I'm also a time traveler, and the real life pond is hard to believe, despite my analogs of it. Let's talk about some things: Afghanistan, Iraq, Vietnam, cold civil prom, and in general, I know how to respawn attempt because I'm decorated. You don't know what all that nonsense means, but I know what a glump is. I manipulated the timeline with the help of Ares and Mars, noted by Athena, so that the old folks' home I'm staying at also housed my war buddies. And while there's a dining hall so I can meet them, I can't seem to leave my room. Here's a photo of it, by the way. I'm just so completely and utterly devastated, no matter how real Dreamers is, and I'm fully pagan as Arian. I just don't want to be Jesus, no matter my charity work, or the next big acting star, because I helped Keith Ledger that one time or told him jokes in the mirror. If you've read other entries, I don't have to divulge why the supernatural bullshit upsets me. My wheelchair haunts me. A toll of a haunting. It's kind of, er, <laughs> possessed by something. Sorry, this is all random. I don't know how to get it. Regarding my chair, I just know things. And I know that it's somehow haunted. And I keep accidentally taking, thinking I have telekinesis when I know I don't. I have this ability to reincarnate my animals and tools to when I they break or other on the tree of life, which is always somehow in my backyard. I am an animist, and ever since I was small, the tree of life has followed me, literally. It's in my hospital room, and it's in my backyard. I run a fairy court, and I have a secret magic life I don't talk about, but that is what all this is. All of it. Photo of my leg. Anyways, I, I get a magic penis in the future, which I am looking forward to, so I can have kids. Let me just... And that penis allows me kids, and as, as a time travel, I raise them as my species. I raise them and my species. Hopefully, it won't be the last left. I won't be the last left. Anyways, at night and sleep, I turn into a dragon. It's crazy. Check out my leg. Well, good luck and good night. That was good getting it out. Aries or Jage or Poser or whatever. Your current name, Adam Snowflake, 11.04 p.m., Tuesday, January 20, 31st, 2023. Hope you enjoy my bullshit because I'm living it.